Welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard, and I've got a very, very, very highly requested thing today. Everybody goes, hey, Rich, when I see him on the ship, they're like, what is this damn seahorse auction? You know, what is the seahorse auction? What's the purpose of the seahorse auction? The seahorse auction is actually in three parts, and today, the first sea day, this is only offered on Virgin Cruises that have two or more sea days. We're on the F3 right now, but today on the first sea day, we're doing the first part, which is the auction, and you know, I have my favorite number, it's dinner for two, it's 69. Now here's the thing, there are six horses that are up for auction, and those six horses, you bid on. We never know what the bids are gonna be. I'm gonna show you live, this is crazy. Now I'm gonna share some secrets, because I have a feeling this is gonna be my last Virgin Cruise playing the seahorse. So I'm gonna share some great seahorse secrets with you, but I can't tell, because there's, there's competitors that are around right now. But come along as we take a look at the seahorse auction, and. 69 is going to get some action, some seahorse action. I don't even know what that means. But join along. My little assistant with all things seahorse. Race, auction, whatever you have you. He's filming. Yeah, you're allowed to film. <laughs> okay. So, hi, Valiant Lady. How are we doing? Woo! people we've had on the ship since I got on here. I've only been on for a month though, so you can take it with a grain of salt. But all of us have been talking and having these cast. We are having so much fun with you guys. Like, this is super exciting. I did one auction. I was telling some people we have six seahorses, and I did one auction where only six people showed up. It was pathetic. Definitely didn't sell one for 400 then. Okay, this is the seahorse auction. And whether you came because you saw it on the app and you were like, that's cool, or if you saw it in the little pamphlet at the coffee shop, or if I found you and I pressured you and manipulated you to come because you have to, because it's my favorite event. I'm glad that you're here. Hi, ladies. Feel free to join us and enjoy that ice cream. We're not allowed to have the ice cream on the ship. I know. Very sad. Hint. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to tell you to give me a red velvet cone with one chocolate and vanilla scoop, you guys. Okay, this is the seahorse auction. And you're like, oh, Cameron, we already know, or I have no idea what's happening. You're going to listen again, or you're a virgin to it, wink, and you're going to hear it for the first time. So, we have six wooden seahorse sculptures. Kindle and I are going to model them off for you. I almost dropped it. That would have been really bad. They look like this! Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. I can't find people. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we can tell. <laughs> they didn't hire me for my dance skills. Okay, so we have these six wooden seahorse sculptures. Okay, they come blank, as you can see. I'm going to be auctioning them off. Oh, who would have thought? Me? You're kidding. Okay, auctioning them off. Okay, there are six seahorses because there are six sides to a die, and when we have the game later, put a pin in it, we're gonna talk about the game. I'm gonna roll dice, and that determines who the winner is. Ooh, there's a winner, duh, because there's a race, it's a competition, get into it, you guys. Come on! Woo! Okay, I'm auctioning off these six seahorses. We're starting the bidding at $50, okay? $50, what, that's so much money. <laughs> no, it's not. Not when you think about everything that comes in this bundle. And I'm going to tell you what that is. Yeah, they can really clap. They got a good view. That's why they're clapping. Okay. So not only do you get the sculpture, which you do get to keep, by the way. That only is yours to take home. You can put it on the mantle. You can put it in a special place in your bedroom. You can hide it in the back trunk of the attic and never look at it ever again. Or do what I do and give it as a white elephant gift. And you're like, this was my losing seahorse. Because <laughs> you don't want to get the winner away, duh. I'm like, rock it. Okay. So you get the sculpture, you get to keep it, and it will not look like that by the time we get to the race and you leave this voyage. <laughs> Bam. Say hi to my seahorse, you guys. Hi, seahorse. Hi, seahorse. So, you get a private session with me. I'm the artist on board. Don't know if I told you guys that. I'm Cameron. I'm the artist. So you're going to get a private session with me to take that blank seahorse, and it's a total pretty woman moment. Okay? You're going to keep make it look fabulous, glamorous. Not that Julia Roberts didn't look glamorous from the beginning of the movie, right? Like, whatever. Anyway, 
You get to make your seahorse look all pretty. I have all sorts of colors, jewels and gems. I have really sticky glue and I'm gonna be like, leave the cap on the glue. <laughs> okay. You're gonna get to make your seahorse look really pretty, so that way on the race it can really strut its stuff down the game board. Game board? What are you talking about? Oh my god, thank you for asking in the back. I will tell you. So we have a race. You're not just getting these wooden seahorses for fun, okay? We're gonna have a race. It happens right here. It's gonna happen on Friday at one o'clock. It's this Big old game mat that takes up all the room, and I'm gonna be like, hey, can you get out of the way? I got a big fat mat coming through. <laughs> okay, really big mat, it's gonna roll out. I'm gonna have a cage that has dice in it, three dice to be precise, okay? And again, six seahorses, six sides of the dice. So I'm gonna shake that thing, and I'm gonna shake this thing. Okay, I'm gonna roll the dice, and let's say I roll a one, two, and three. Seahorses one, two, and three will get to move forward one. One person asks Cameron, how do the seahorses move? That's a great question. Ken the Glow is my fabulous, wonderful, luxurious assistant here for the seahorse race and auction. And she's going to move them. They're gonna be on little poles like this, and these poles are gonna be on a platform, and she's just gonna move them manually, putting in all that physical labor, and I'm gonna beg you guys to give her a round of applause when it happens, because she's a really good assistant. Yeah. yeah. She also likes really bad, who knows, okay? I've had some people be like, I, don't, I didn't wanna do it because like, I don't actually wanna race, like, no thank you, I don't, run, I don't wanna run in front of people, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want that either. <laughs> no, this is not a race, you will not be participating. I'm not gonna ask you to get all gross and nasty. I don't want that either. I don't, I'm not about that. I'm not the balancer, okay? That's Nate's thing. He'll, he'll do you how to be all fitness forward, whatever. If I wanted to be all sweaty and insecure, I would just have sex with you. <laughs> okay? All right? So, back to, the, back to the basics, okay? We're gonna have the auction. The bidding starts at $50, okay? Oh. I don't know if I mentioned, you also get to have a lot of champagne during that private painting session with me. And okay. so just to reiterate, if I haven't already, that private painting session with me is the best part of this bundle, okay? Obviously, I didn't need to tell you that. You're like, God, Cameron, we can see you right now. That is the best part. Yeah, it is. Okay, and then, like I said, Friday at one o'clock, we're gonna have the race. It's gonna be a really big deal. People get really into it. I'm always waiting for a fist fight to break out. It hasn't happened yet. So maybe this will be the first time I sell one for four hundred dollars, and it'll be the first time we see a fist fight on the Valley Lake. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe y'all just cheered for that. <laughs> Not carnival. <laughs> she said not carnival. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need to pick up the pace, you guys. I only got 30 minutes to make this happen. So, does everyone feel, oh, okay, question. There will not actually be wagering on each horse. I'm gonna do like a cute, cheesy Disney Channel thing where I'm like, oh, who thinks seahorse number one will win? Seahorse number four, awesome. Things like that. We, you are welcome to do your own thing and be like, I bet you 30 is on seahorse number one. Whatever you want to do, okay? And then the winner of the seahorse race gets all of the money that is raised in the auction. So, yeah, who was right? So last voyage was the smallest jackpot we ever had, and that winner got $877. The most I've ever seen since I've been on the ship is $2,700. It typically, it's all in your hands. However much you want to bid on a seahorse will determine how much the winner takes home, okay? So if this is like one of those times in a Hallmark movie where you run into your enemy from high school and you're feeling really competitive, I think you should up the ante and spend more money and show them how it's done. She said, absolutely. Her enemy's on the ship. Hi. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you a little backstory to all six seahorses so you can get to know them and get a feel for who you're going to be taking home with you. Still talking about the seahorses. People, is everybody ready? Yay! Yeah. 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 That's what I like to hear. Woo. So, Kim the Glow is going to be modeling off my horses and then I'm going to do the bidding, all right? So, she's got seahorse number one in her hands. We're going to start at $50. I'm going to take it nice and slow. 
Okay, zero's number one, $50. Let me see the paddles. 50 at 86. Do I hear 75? 75 at 71. Do I hear 100? 100 at 69. Uh -huh. 169, 125 at 86. Do I hear 150? 150 at 71. Do I hear 175? 175 at paddle number two. I won't do that. 175 at paddle number two. 200 at 67. Do I hear 225? 225 at 69. Okay. Do I hear 250? 250 at 67. Do I hear 275? 275 at number 69. No! 275. Do I hear 300? 300 at 67. <laughs> You didn't. Oh no no no! 425. Oh no, we got to do 420. No. Okay. Oh, I get the joke now. 425. Like marijuana. I've never smoked weed, you guys. 425. I paddle 69. Do I hear 450? You're just gonna let him get away with that. Okay. 425 going once. Going twice. All right, bro, no, three. Four fifty. Oh, you guys, stop! Oh my God. Oh no, 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 no! I'm not letting it go. I'm not letting it go. Four fifty going once. Boom. Four seven. Oh my God. Four seventy five. Ah! Four fifty. Four seventy five. Four seventy five. Do I hear five hundred? Man, what do you do? What's your job? <laughs> I love a rich personality. Okay, 475 going once. 475 going twice. I'm going to have a flash here in the roundabout. 475 so Kathy, you don't think I said this one? We're going to see what's number two. <laughs> if you can believe it. One per cabin. Oh, my God. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs> okay. Katie starts at $50. Raise your paddles. Katie, $50. We're here at $75. $75 at $86. $75 at $100. $100 at $71. One hundred twenty-five. Sandy, where what number am I at? One twenty-five. One twenty-five at seventy-one. No, I'm here at seventy-one. Do you guys remember what I said at the beginning of the talk? One hundred dollars at eighty-two. One hundred. One twenty-five at seventy-one. One fifty at sixty-seven. This is so embarrassing. One fifty. One seventy-five. One seventy-five at eighty-eight. Nobody? No? Okay. <laughs> 75 at 91. 
one, 100, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300, Oh, oh, 350. Three, 350. 400, you guys! 425. Yes! 425. 425. 450. 450. 475. 475, you guys. Come on, we can hit, we can hit 500. 475 going once. Five. Yes! Okay, okay 525 going once. 525 going twice. 525 is so My God, you guys. I didn't even have to do you any favors to get this out of you. Okay, let's see. We are halfway through. We've got three seahorses left. Time check. By 19, I've got like 11 minutes. Seahorse number four. Raise your paddles. $50. 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, okay, 200, 225, 250. No, she said no. 225, 250. 275. Okay, I like it. 275. 300. Okay. I like this one. 325. 350. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand here. 350. 375. 400. Okay, 400. 425. Anybody? 400 going once. 425. I like it. 425 right here. 450. From anyone, probably in a blue shirt that says Alaska. <laughs> 450. Oh, 450. Do I hear 475? 475. <laughs> okay. I'm totally cool, you guys. 500 or whatever. <laughs> From anyone. Anyone, even up there, just wave a hand and I'll throw in the bottle. Okay, 475 going once, going twice. So. Okay, you guys, I did not put on enough deodorant for this. <laughs> Don't stand too close. Does anybody need a paddle? No, you're like, maybe, but now they're going for that much money. <laughs> it was that private session I told you about. Okay, moving on, Seahorse number five. Paddles up, $50. 50 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300, 325, 350, Jesus Christ, <laughs> 350, 375, 400, I like it, 400, 425. This is so bad. 425. Okay, 450 from anyone. 450. 475. No, not my whole time. 525. Jesus Christ. 600. Oh, Right here. 700. You're thrilled. Don't tease me. You don't have a You gotta get down here. Get down Thank you. 
are so much better than a $50 scratcher. 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, okay, uh, 200 at 26, 225 at 71, okay, 250 at 80, 250 at 60, 400. We missed my job so easy. 400 at 67, do I hear 425? 425, 450, 5, 500 at 67. Okay, 500, do I hear 525? Let him have it. 500. I cannot believe you're going to let him get away with that. Okay, 10% away for the house. Yeah. So, that's a lot of money. This was the largest auction we've ever had. In all virgin ships, we broke the record. So thank you. Thank you. 
Ashley the Charmer left me a little gift. Does anyone know Ashley the Charmer? Yes. Woo! Yeah. Three people know Ashley the Charmer. We know cool. Ashley. Someone's not doing their job. Oh. <laughs> I love her. She's my best friend. Everyone should leave here knowing all of our names. So again, I'm Cameron. What's my name? Cameron. What's her name? Cameron. Kendall. <laughs> Kim. This is Kim. This is Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> er, wrong. This is Kim Glow. Ashley is our astrologer and tarot reader on the Valley Lady. Okay, whatever. You didn't come to get your tarot cards read. You came to read. Okay, you guys. We're gonna go in chronological order. One through six. All right, we're gonna play some fun, fun music for you to trot down to. I hope that sounds good. We're gonna begin with Seahorse number one. Crowd over to Seahorse number one. Make sure you're down. Shut your stuff. Hand your Seahorse over to Kin the Glow. And then you can go find your seat. Love it. Okay, come on, Seahorse owner number two. Jamie is the crowd owner. Off the king of glow. Side note, they named their seahorse after me. They named it what? Cameron. Cameron. They named it Cameron. That's I where your name tag went. Brownie points. It doesn't. <laughs> but I'm flattered all the same. Okay, moving on to seahorse number three. We have Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, she looks good. I'll take it from you, Elizabeth. Thank you. So okay, Paul. Moving on to seahorse number four. Come on down, William. Proud owner of seahorse number four. I know that's right. I'll just be Thank you. Firestorm is the name of your All right. And then we've got Daniel with seahorse number five. Yeah! I'm gonna be doing the math full time. Seahorse number thumbs two. Thumbs up to spin, thumbs down not to spin. Wow. Seahorse number three. Woo! Okay, they got a bit of a fan club. Seahorse number three. Woo! Okay, Seahorse number four. Woo! Seahorse number five. Woo! It's kind of tilting to the left, but some people are into it that way. Seahorse number five. Woo! Um, is that like one large group of people? Yes. <laughs> You've got all of his frat bros with him. allowed to say because I signed a contract. <laughs> <laughs>
number three, would you like to spin the wheel? Oh, I didn't even get to finish. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Not Elizabeth Taylor. Oh. Oh. oh no. It's pretty center. What was the roll when it lands in the center? Shot! 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 She almost went back too, and that would have been really embarrassing. Ooh. Fun fact, Elizabeth showed up in the last like 10 minutes of the auction and was like, I want a horse! And I was like, alright, Elizabeth. <laughs> So yours number five got a lot of love at the beginning of this thing. So now, your pride is on the line. Free shot! Great, let's keep going. Hi friends. I've got a two, a two, and a three. They chose not to spin. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I've got a two, a six, and a six. Woo! Let's go, Pete! Does someone want to blow on these dice for Seahorse number one? I know. Right? Does someone want to blow on these dice for Seahorse number one? I know. Comedy. Okay. <laughs> Then we can switch with number two. Oh, there's a bait and switch. Yep. Bake it for two. So this used to be exactly how it sounds. Oh, he had to fake an orgasm? No. <laughs> we had to change the rules. So now what's going to happen is you are going to um, play a little game of charades. Oh, God. Okay, with your competitors. Competitors, don't cheat and pretend like you don't know what he's doing. <laughs> like, it's like... What is this? Baseball. Oh, baseball. Yeah, and then we've had people who are like, I don't know, it's not obvious enough. And I'm like, okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna give you a word. You're gonna act it out in front of your six competitors, and they're gonna try to guess it, okay? And you have 20 seconds for them to guess what it is. Kim the Glow is gonna keep a little timer, okay? She might count you down to add pressure. It's her decision. We have to reach her. Come with me. Your word is boat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've never had this drawn, so I have to think of something. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. okay, I gave him his word. Eh? He has 20 seconds, starting now! Swimming. Diving. 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 Scuba diving. Scuba diving. Ding!
two, two, and a five. Okay. No. See how number two you're not going to spin? No. 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 <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I feel like no. I was running the first one. No. I've got a two. Woo! A two. Woo! And a four. Let's go, both cameras! <laughs> Matt. Switch. No, we got a spin. Oh, shoot. We shoot. Oh. We got two spins. Two Three spins. Oh, well. Like you're wanting to spin the wheel? Yep. Yes. No? Yes. Okay. Go for it. Bait and switch, Kathy. They're like, I'm in last place anyway or whatever. Bait and switch. That's what we want. <laughs> No, once you pass it, it's done. Thank you, Seahorse number one. So, once you pass a starfish, if you have to go back later, you do not get to use that starfish's 
power any longer. It's dead. It dies. That's why Kitten kicked it over. It's gone. Okay? They didn't add that to the plot of The Little Mermaid. It's good. All right. I've got a four, a four, and a three. Yeah! No, 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 because you went back, yeah. I have got a one. Yes! Oh, now it gets cheers. A four. A six. I love it. I would just like to see At the beginning of this game, I asked everyone who they thought would win, and when I went to Seahorse number one, I had one. Person. I'm Remember, you've got to get the 2600 dollars. I'm looking at you and right now. So, for all of you who didn't cheer, do not go to the casino. You have bad luck. You're wrong. Your instincts are awful. But I'm going to re ask because it is not over yet, beautiful woman in the pink tank top. <laughs> who thinks Seahorse number one is going to win the race? Overwhelming. Seahorse number two. Woo! Okay, Seahorse number three. Woo! Yeah, Seahorse number four. Woo! How about Seahorse number five? Yeah! Is that the wrong answer? That was probably the right answer. <laughs> but he didn't do the right person. <laughs> I've got a two, a six, and a six. <laughs> oh, that looks like Seahorse number six landed on a starfish. Oh, Would you like to fine. spin the wheel? <laughs> oh. Smart. I'll take it. All right, this is getting exciting. I'm sweating a little bit more. I'm gonna have to take a shower after this. I've got a three, a four, and a five. Okay, keep going. I've got a one. So you just saw the seahorse auction, and here's the dirty secret, because I don't plan on taking any Virgin Cruise anytime soon. This wheel is actually weighted against you. I'm telling this to everyone here right now, this wheel is weighted negative four. So unless you are four places behind, there is no need to spin the wheel. I want to be very, very clear. 
This is the same on both the Valiant and the Scarlet Lady. So it is not a fair competition if you do the math. So you'll see this is weighted. If you weight all of these, it's weighted negative four. So unless you're four spaces behind, you should not spin the wheel. We actually just won this game by using bait and switch, which is where you can switch with any other horse. But remember, the horse race comes down to math. It's not an even game, no matter how much they say. This is Richard from No Path Profits, coming to you from the horse race on the Virgin Voyage of Scarlet Lady, reminding you that you can win $2,600, and you don't even have to put on pants, but when you wear no pants, all you got left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one. Bye.